Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing my everyday makeup basket for December of 2019. I can't believe it's December. I say that every month, but yeah, it's December. So what I'm going to do is go through all of these, pick out all of the products that I'm going to be moving out of my everyday makeup basket, explain this kind of new little section over here, and then we're going to pick out new products, put them in, use them for December. I do have a whole playlist of all of my everyday makeup baskets. I'll throw it up in the cards if you're interested. I do have about almost two years now. <laughs> wow, two years. So the first product I actually have like right over here is this e.l.f. foundation. This is the acne fighting foundation and this is the shade buff. Honestly, like it's... <sighs> How do I say this? The undertones just don't work. Even if I lighten it, even if I add golden drops to it, it looks off on me. So even though I like the formula and I like the way it sits on my skin, the shade is just way too off. So I've actually decided to declutter this. I need to do a full declutter of my whole collection, probably after the new year. But for now, I just I, this isn't working for me, so I'm going to declutter this. Okay, so for my super reflective primers, <laughs> let's see, I'm gonna move this out. This is the Fenty Eye Primer. I haven't really used it yet, but I've got other eye primers I need to use. I'm also gonna move out this Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer from Shop Miss A. And I'm gonna leave these two in here, the e.l.f. and the Makeup Revolution. I don't know when that video is gonna get put up, but I want to keep them in there until I do. And this is a new product that I picked up and I'm actually pretty underwhelmed by. This is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is like the under eye concealer. I got the lightest shade. And to be honest, it's it's not really that great. But those are gonna stay in that drawer. Oh, this eye drawer is like a mess, so let's just clean this out. So these two products I'm going to be moving out and into a special area where I have all my Shop Miss A stuff because I'm almost ready to do my follow-up video to my PR haul. If you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards. But this is the Wonder Brow Brow Pomade and then I have the Fat Lash Mascara. I've been testing both of these out for almost two months now. This is everything I'm keeping in the drawer. I actually made an executive decision <laughs> to take out this concealer from Juvia's Place I've been using as an eye primer and instead I'm going to bring in the Fenty primer because I do want to test that out and try it out. So I have the Fenty primer, NYX glitter glue, I've got the Fenty fly liner, I have a uh, pencil liner from Lancome, I have the AOA eye primer because I also haven't been testing that out too much. I have the MAC Brown Liner, and then I have my one of my favorite mascaras, the Essence Lash Princess. Oh, and how could I forget this? The NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Honestly, the best affordable brow gel I have found, hands down. Ooh, so for my foundation and powder drawer, I really want to take out the foundations. So this is almost empty. This is my second one of the Shop Miss A foundation. So this is going to go with the other Shop Miss A products for my haul, follow up haul. Um, I was using the Ordinary foundation. I would do want to switch this out as well. The white mixer is going to stay because I'm pale and I need it. <laughs> um, I'm going to move out this Shop Miss A and move it with the uh, rest of the products I'm going to use in that follow up haul. This is the, like, I just dropped it, but is the salmon color corrector for under your eyes. And I think for concealers, I need to move in some other concealers. So, you know what? Let's take all these out. We'll find some more ones. All right. So in my miscellaneous powder drawer, most of this is going to get moved out. So let me just empty it out. And there is powder everywhere. I will clean that up. But this is all that we are left with. My loose powder from Too Faced and my bread thing. Next, we have this other miscellaneous drawer. I'm really bad about switching out eyeshadow palettes, especially when I'm using, like, I'm trying to finish my Pan That palette for this year. So I don't know if I want to switch these. Out. Uh, let me do some thinking. Okay, so I ended up leaving two palettes in here. I have the Divina um, collab, the Moonwell. I believe it's called the palette, not the palette, but like the bundle with Angelica Nyquist. I have these lashes that I actually love. I'm going to use them in a glam New Year's Eve tutorial that I really want to do. This is a lash glue from House of Lashes, and then I have the palette from Shop Miss A that I do need to keep testing out before I do that follow-up haul. All right, and then last but not least down here, I have everything that is in one of my project pans right now. Moving up, I have the NYX Bear With Me primer. It doesn't fit in my primer drawer, but I'm not using it right now. Eh, I'll, I'll leave it there for now. This is a drawer where I just keep kind of some miscellaneous glitters, and I do switch that out kind of every now and then. I do mostly have the CoverGirl glitters, but I do have this uh, Stila glitter and glow that I use today. So I think I'll just leave those there and switch out glitters as I see fit. And then up here, I have all of the red lipsticks I'm testing for my best and worst of red lipstick video. In this little guy right here, I have all of my uh, 
setting sprays and priming sprays. And then I kind of want to show you what I'm doing over here with this white organizer right there. So I used to have this in like my actual bookshelf behind my ring light, but it's a bit more accessible if I keep it just right next to my everyday makeup basket. And then I can make it a bit more easier to bring in some bigger palettes, bring in some more things that I really want to test out. So of course I have my Pan That palette right here. I have my Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona. And then I have some products I still haven't fully tested out, all from Profusion. I have the pink nudes, I have the golden nudes. I then have the eye and cheek palette. Then I have this empty, not empty, but it's a Z palette. Um, I've got some products in here. This is from my 9 Pan 19, all of those. These are just some random shingle shadows that I picked out that I want to use. This is a Davina highlight. And then both of these are... Um, products from Touch of Glam Beauty, which is an indie brand you can purchase on Etsy. I also keep like my coupon kind of things back here, my Sephora sale thing, and um, I'm just really liking having the extra space there to just kind of keep what I want to test out, what I'm working on, like at the forefront. So there we have it. We've totally cleaned this out. I'm going to put away all this makeup and then we will move over to my makeup collection and pick out some new products. All right, so all the makeup's been put away. We're over in my collection area. And let me see, I think I'm good for primers. These are all primers up here. Tilt you guys up. <laughs> These are all primers. These are all setting sprays. This is my nail stuff, so I think we're good over there. <laughs> Since I put away the concealers, this drawer literally won't close. So let's go into concealers first and pick out a couple. Okay, so I picked out three of them. The first one is this little sample of the Born This Way uh, concealer from Too Faced. Honestly, I can't remember my thoughts on this. I think it was too light, but I've gotten paler and I am very pale. So let's go ahead and try this one. I'm also pulling out this old favorite of mine. This is the Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in Light Warm, and it doesn't want to focus. And last but not least, I want to bring this out. I haven't used this in quite some time. This is the Dermacol. Technically, I think this is... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think it's a high coverage concealer. It could be used as a foundation, but I have the shade 210 and I haven't used it in a while. I want to bring this back out and use it. And yay, the concealer drawer can now close. I'm going to pull out some stuff for the uh, New Year's Eve look that I want to do. So let's go through here and pick out a couple of things. I think mainly these two glitters from Urban Decay. There's from the Heavy Metal Glitter line. And I'll bring this out. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. Now, is there anything in the single shadow drawer that I want to pull out? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I want to use a liquid glitter. So let's go into the liquid glitter drawer and I'll pull out some options. I definitely want to pull this one out. This is the shade Peach Pretense. The peach, 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 <laughs> peach tinted. And then this one, especially. This is the shade Diamond Dust. All right, lipsticks I don't really need to pull out. Let's go straight into foundations down here. All right, so here we are in the foundation drawer. I really want to switch things up. I want to try some of the stuff I haven't reached for in a long time. So let's see, let's do that. I really want to bring out these. Okay, the first product I want to bring out is this Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have the shade 27, which is going to be way too dark for me, but it's got a warm undertone so I can lighten it with my white mixer. I'm definitely going for a more dewy kind of look for the winter since it's going to be really, really dry. So I'm also going to bring out this Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation in the shade of Porcelain. And last but not least, I will pick out this MAC Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC25. Alright, so now we're in my powder drawer. I've got blushes. Nope, blushes. This shouldn't be there. You're a blush. Blushes, bronzers, and contours face powders and some lashes and a mess back there <laughs> okay so i really want to pick out another bronzer and another blush i think i'm set for face powder honestly i'm trying to finish panning the two that i have in my drawer right now so it'll take a little bit of time but let's pick out okay so let's pick out a pair of lashes and then some blush and bronzer i'm gonna pull out this pair from aoa studio the shop miss a brand and these are the elizabeth's for blush what should i do what should i do you know what i think i'm gonna pull this one out this is from the mac and patrick star one of the many collections it's kind of like a duo 
blush. This one's super matte and darker, and this one's a bit more shimmery, so I'm gonna bring this out and try using it. For bronzer, what should I use for bronzer? Alright, so this is one I actually haven't reached for in a long time, so I'm gonna bring it back out. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium to Deep Bronzer. I don't know if this is gonna be too dark for me. I bought it a long time ago, but I'm gonna bring it out and test it. Now, for this drawer, I don't think I need a separate highlight, but I do want to bring a face palette out, and I think I'm going to do this one. This is the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Unlocked palette from last year and their holiday release. I did do a whole video comparing the two holiday um, Hourglass palettes last year, and since I didn't buy one this year, I think I'm going to bring this out to... <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> to continue testing. And, I mean, not content continue testing. I love this palette. So just to enjoy. Alright, the last two drawers are eyeshadow palettes and lip products, and I don't think I need to pull anything from those right now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this makeup into my everyday makeup basket, and then we will be back to see the final basket. That sounded a bit weird, but, you know, okay. <laughs> okay, so all the makeup's in here, so let's just go through each drawer. Primer drawer didn't really change, this is everything that I'm keeping in it. Just the Elf Poreless Putty, Makeup Revolution Putty, and the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector. This is everything in the eye drawer. Not much difference other than adding that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. Holding this up so it doesn't fall over, these are all of the foundations and concealers I will be using. Here is our powder drawer along with the lashes I picked out. And here is kind of our miscellaneous drawer with the eyeshadow palettes I really want to focus on and the glitters I want to use for Christmas and New Year's. Nothing over in this white thing changed because I still, I just need to focus on those palettes again. I just, I don't know, I need to get better at rotating palettes. But this is everything I'm going to be using for December. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're using for December and what your most used product of 2019 was. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.